of Celia Pittman. I'm an artist who works with textiles, in particular um, kind of repair, mending, darning. I got interested in darning about 11 years ago when I inherited this sweater, which I have. Um, and it belonged, I mean, it's hand knit, it's a bit stained. It belonged to my great uncle, who was a painter who I lived with. And what I loved about it, I inherited it after he died, but what I loved about it was he used to work, when he's very old, leaning on his arms. And I have a really clear picture of him sort of leaning forward and drawing, so his forearms were always on the table. And when I got the sweater, the main part that was worn away were these forearms. And I was very moved by the sense of the sweater holding the movement of his body, having some evidence of him. I was also with this sweater, so this, there were two things when I got this sweater that kind of got me thinking about repair. So one was this sense of seeing him and seeing his body and his movement. It was so characteristic in this garment. But the other thing was the small bits of darning that my aunt, his sister, had done over time. And I was extremely, actually, of the two of them, I felt her presence even more keenly in this jumper than his. Because when I got it, she had been dead longer than he had, and the sweater had not been tended to for a really long time. So there were a lot more holes. There's something about tenderness in darning, and certainly about care, that interests me. And from a fashion point of view, what I think is interesting is the things we want to look after are often the things that we love the most and we feel most comfortable in. Um, you don't bother wanting. There's, if you, if you have a choice, whether you can buy something new or repair it, the thing that you're likely to repair, well, this is my experience, is something that you love. And that the other thing about repair is that um, if you've worn something for a very long time, the quality of that cloth is so special. That wool is like really, really soft. The denim has got a particular, you know, fit on, it's molded itself to your body. And that's something that can't be faked when you buy something new. Um, so I guess it's about living with things and seeing the things that you live with that I really love.